While some analysts believe that the Detroit Lions reached throughout the 2023 NFL Draft, there's no denying that we have impact players, players that will come in and make an immediate impact. While we got Jameer Gibbs at number 12, some believe that he might be even better than B. John Robinson. Then we got the best linebacker in the draft. He was the first one off the board. We took the second best tight end, and then we take probably the biggest steal of the draft in safety, Brian Branch, and that's leading to the third round, and then so on and so forth. But one thing Brad Holmes has been able to do in addition to the draft is the undrafted free agent period that happens directly after the draft. When we get the inside the den coming probably next month sometime, they're going to show us through the entire process of the first leading up to the draft and then after that. And the undrafted free agents are in there. And according to one analyst, the Detroit Lions had a stellar free agency, undrafted free agency period, picking up these specific players. I don't want to give it away as to where they are, but you'll see it from Pride of Detroit. So this is coming from Pride of Detroit, and this is the where they rank the undrafted rookie free agents for the Detroit Lions as far as the total class that they had. Thor Nystrom over at Fantasy Pros has been ranking UDFA classes for years, and 2023 was no exception. Nystrom is a big fan of the Lions set of players, ranking Detroit's UDF class fourth among all NFL teams. While this is just one person's opinion, it's worth noting that this is perhaps even more impressive than Detroit's draft, considering everyone goes into the UDFA period signing on even ground. Whereas the Lions obviously have more draft capital than most teams to take talented players during the draft period selection. Now, if you guys haven't seen Chase Coda, the receiver from Oregon, he actually talked about how he had offers from two different teams. Because I think what happens is they all call at the same time. Their phone is ringing. All these teams are, are trying to call. And he actually chose the Detroit Lions. He said he looked at our roster and saw that we had the best chance for him making the team. That's what he believes, that he he truly believes in his ability that he could get on special teams and maybe work his way to the starting uh, roster. You know, But you got to start practice squad, special teams. Right now, these men just want to be part of the 53-man roster. But we had five prospects out of 300. We have five that ranked in the top 300, and here's who they are. Per Nystrom's ranking, The Lions were able to acquire five prospects he ranked in the top 300 of this class. UAB cornerback Starling Thomas V, one of the standouts from rookie minicamp, was Nystrom's 146th ranked prospect, the equivalent of a fifth-round grade. Other top UDFA prospects per Nystrom were running back Mohamed Ibrahim, 176 overall, safety Brandon Joseph, 212, offensive tackle Ryan Sawoboda, 263, and offensive tackle Connor Gavin. Now, we've seen players, Jerry Jacobs. There have been players to make the team and start that hurt, were undrafted free agents. I mean, we had one on our team not too long ago, undrafted, uh, way, way long ago. Danny Amendola was just an undrafted player who wind up winning a championship throughout his NFL career. So these guys may not make the team. But out of these people, I believe that this might be one of the best classes that we've had in a long time as far as undrafted free agency. And already, there are, there are two guys that are really standing out. Now, you can see Chase Cota was not on his list. But there are two guys that's standing out right now. I would say running back Mohamed Ibrahim and also Starling Thomas V. I I can't believe he had the equivalent of a fifth-round grade. Those two guys right now are really kind of the two players that I could see making the actual team. But, again, we have the practice squad. And if if a guy can get on the practice squad, I mean, he's officially part of the NFL, and all he needs is the right set of things to happen. And next thing you know, he gets the call up to to play on Sunday. So this is absolutely fantastic. Brad Holmes, once again, continues to knock it out of the park. Got some questionable picks, though. Um... We have the Ifi Melifanwu and the Levi Anwuzarike, both which could not be on the team when we kick off week one. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the undrafted rookie free agents having five in the top 300 according to Nordstrom's ranking. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.